I'm Reed Pettingill. We're at the factory of Durastil in Kansas City, Missouri. And today I'm going to show you how to put on a remote faucet system on a 25 gallon tank. The first thing you do is take the plug off the bottom and you make sure that this little insert, white insert, comes out of this pipe right here. And so all you have left there is a half inch nipple. Now if you bought your pumping system after you, you put your distiller in, you got water in this tank, you'll have to uh, either drain all the water into five gallon bottles or you will have to uh, be really fast and catch the water some way. It's a, sometimes it's a, a real pain to get it, get it in there if you got water in there. The next thing you do is you bring your tube over here and you put your compression nut on it. And then you put your, your lock ring on. The proper way to put this on is with the the flare is sticking towards the end of the pipe so it it's harder for it to come out. That actually bites onto the pipe. And then you put on a a seal. A ga it's a, a plastic seal and you want to push it up on that tubing. About like such. Okay, you put it up and insert the tube into the pipe and the and the seal and you push the nut up and tighten it up. And you tighten it pretty tight. Do not over tighten it. But get it to where it's tight. A little tighter than hand tight. Once you have the tube hooked to the bottom of the tank and it's secure, you're ready to hook it to the pump. Now you do it exactly the same way as you did the bottom. You put the nut on first, you slide the lock ring on top, you put the uh, little seal on the tube and you slide it all up and it's ready to hook onto the pump, just like that. And you get that fairly tight, but you want to be very careful you don't over tighten that because you can break this pump off. There's really no pressure on, on this line because it's just gravity fed out of the tank. So there's not a great need to tighten that up and break the the edge of the pump off. Once you get that on, you slide the pump around where you want it to be in position. And you can move this in or out or around or wherever you like to put the pumping system. And then I'll turn it around so you can see how we hook it up to the filter. Now previously to hooking us up to the filter, I like to have this PEX line run to the faucets in the house. So this is the last connection we make. And it's, it's virtually the same as what we've been doing. The first thing we do is put the, the locking nut on. And then we put the little lock ring on that with the teeth pointing out that way. And then we put the, the seal on. And it's kind of hard getting these on where they go. There we go. Now you insert this nylon bushing into your pump. Make sure you get that threaded correctly. If you get it cross threaded, you got a, a little problem. You got to work at it. Then you insert the, the seal onto that pipe fitting. You tighten this one up fairly tight because it's going to have 60 pounds of pressure on it. When you get 60 pounds of pressure on this line, it shuts the pump off. It's an on-demand pump. When you open your faucet and release the pressure upstairs or wherever you're running water, 
the pump turns back on. The accumulator uh, makes it so it flows steady and, and sure stream and you don't get a pulsating action on your stream so it makes it really nice. On this pumping system you have the accumulator, the filter system and the pump all in one all in one uh, piece and it just sits right conveniently on the floor by your distiller. Now you can hook this up to any distiller that we have except the four gallon tank. It, you can hook it up to any tank we have except for the four gallon tank. So we put them on the 10, the 25, and the 80 gallon tank and it's virtually the same no matter how you hook it up on every tank.